the 7th of July 2020. After 15 years of R&D on this digital construction journey, we're taking Hadrian X out the gate for the very first time. So out at our first site in uh, Dayton, Western Australia, uh, we'll be building a three bedroom, two bathroom structure for a client. This marks a very important point in our journey. It's a chance for us now to take a very important step on our commercial pathway. So we started this morning at 7am. During the day we've made a few small improvements and we're really happy with the way it's performing. As you can see, we're up to course five today, which is a good amount of progress. We've had quite a few visitors come in today to have a look at the machine. A lot of shareholders, interested parties, stakeholders and investors and so on. So far we're up to about 820 odd blocks and we're on the eighth course which is uh, putting us on track to finish up tomorrow if we have another good day. We're up over the 800 bricks laid, which is a record for Hadrian in a single day. And we're looking to hopefully get over a thousand today. So we got set up this morning, another nice cool morning, and we started building. And, uh, we're expecting to finish sometime this evening after a really good day yesterday. And as we progress through today, uh, Hadrian performed absolutely beautifully, basically non-stop, very few interruptions. And uh, we were finished a little bit after 12 o'clock today. From here now, we'll, uh, we'll regather back at uh, headquarters this afternoon. Probably a little bit of a celebration there. And then during the course of the week, we'll debrief all the respective teams that have operated here at site and also that have been monitoring what's been going on back at our headquarters. And then from there, you know, we're in a, we're in a post COVID world. There's still many things we don't understand, but we're you know, flexible and agile as a company. And over the coming weeks and months, we should be able to come back to our uh, supporters and give them a view as to how we see 2021 forming in front of us.